What's up everybody and welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. What is going on guys? This week we are back again with uh, Rising Smoke and the new barbecue, Fiery Q. Fiery Q. Um, before we get too far into that, this week we are featuring Aranius. Um, fellow Wisconsin boys, uh, <laughs> this stuff is mind blowing. Um, Ryan did some insane, just insane writing on this. Um, technical, some dissonance, um, you get some groove. It's a great blend. Um, go check them out. You. Yeah. All right, back to the barbecue. Um, yeah, we recently did their, his first barbecue. Um, so drunken, drunken Smokehouse. Drunken Smokehouse. <sighs> Um, that's, <laughs> that's my favorite barbecue, it is insane. So I cannot wait to get into this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is supposed to be pretty hot. So I'm <laughs> kind of excited. Um, ingredients, we got uh, tomatoes, and then the second ingredient, we got smoked Carolina Reaper. Ooh. Mash. So yeah, second ingredient. Um, then we got honey, molasses, ah, I can never say this one, Worcestershire, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean, distilled white vinegar, blackberries, and that first Steel? sauce, he had strawberries in, in that other barbecue sauce, and that was, yeah, oh. yeah, um, so yeah, blackberries, on, uh, onions, garlic, sugar, chili powder, salt, mustard powder, and black pepper, Whew. I uh, <laughs> am pretty excited. So yeah, yeah, on here he's got Roaring Inferno for the heat level. So, and like I said, with that Carolina Reaper being the second ingredient, it's probably gonna be a hot one. Probably. And that's cool because honestly, um, there aren't too many spicy barbecues out there. And the ones that are out there aren't usually too hot. So I'm, I'm uh, excited. But I didn't seal perforation, so <laughs> bring your knife or something, or something. If you don't believe in knives or something, just something. <laughs> don't use it. That, if that's a thing, I don't know if people don't believe in knives. Okay. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> who, who knows? They're not real. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, yeah. And once again, just like his other barbecue sauce, it's in a bigger bottle. Um, nice wide opening. Woohoo! And that pop, I love that I heard pop. that pop. Oh, well, that smells like an amazing barbecue. And you can definitely pick up on that smoke. That smoke reaper. That smoke reaper standing up. Man, I'm really. I'm really digging that. It smells really good. Yeah. Woo! Mike, Mike, <laughs> you are the barbecue man. <sighs> Goodness. It smells so good. Smoke is kind of his thing. Yeah. Beautiful pour. Um, the consistency, the viscosity on that. Ooh. It. It's a little thinner than um, like your store or baby, sweet baby rays or whatever, but it's still got a body to it. Small chunkage. Um, but it looks great. Oh, the smoke opens up so much on the yeah. spoon. The sm when, once it's on the spoon, the smoke kind of takes over. Nice. It's fired up. Cheers. Okay. Um. Whoa. <laughs> um. Flavor. That the flavor punches you, and then that reaper is right yeah. there pushing it. I was gonna say, wow. hits me like a barbecue sauce right away, like a really good barbecue sauce, and then it hits me like a reaper sauce, like immediately after. Like, Ooh. okay, this is feeling like a hot sauce. That is amazing. Um, heat, wow. heat wise, this has some heat to it. Um, I mean, I didn't do that big. I didn't do a huge amount, but it's got some heat. Mm -hmm. I would give this like a four to a five. 
Um, <laughs> it's legit. Yeah. Huh? As far as the heat, the way it's getting me, it's yeah, definitely about like a three and a half to a four. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I was surprised because I did did pretty good amount on my spoon, so I was a little intimidated, but not wrecking me as much as I was fearing it could. Oh. But it's still really hot. Like it still yeah. has good heat. It has the Reaper burn. It's getting me on the back of the mm. <clears throat> back of the throat, like Reapers usually do. And it's lasting. <laughs> it is lasting. It's still going. Um, that is amazing. Seriously, I gave the last one a five horns. This one's getting another five horns because it has the heat that I'm craving, and he still is bringing that amazing. It, it has that black pepper bite punch to it. And the vinegar really helps out with that to me. I love it. It is so perfect for me. Yeah. Easy five horns. Boom. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about it because I was like, I don't know if I give it that or not because of the heat. But the heat was just right. I'm giving it five horns as well. Uh, I, was in I was intimidated that it might not be... For everybody, it might be too hot for some people. It is. And that's that's it is. part of my rating as far as that goes. Is you know, if many or if all people can enjoy it, um, yeah, this is definitely gonna hurt some people, but it yeah. actually is still manageable. Like, if you're feeling brave and you really want to kick your barbecue up a pretty good amount, this will push you to your limit for a normal person. Yeah, but it's not extreme for a chili head. But. It's got a good serious burn. No, it's, it's nice, yeah. And guys, we're getting into grilling season. I mean, I think you're definitely gonna wanna pick this up. Try it out. I can see it going lots of stuff. You know, if you got the grill out, grilling up some sausages, or grilling up just like some fajita meat, or just a lot of stuff. I mean, I can see it going on. A lot of the things that barbecue sauce is supposed to be going on. Very nice. And a burger. Burger. A uh, burger, of course. <sighs> um, yeah. Another Mike. Man, barbecue master over here, dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that's two barbecue sauces and two five horn ratings. Um, guys, go check this stuff out. Yeah. He's winning awards. Yeah. I mean, like, and it's it's obvious why he is. Yeah. I, I think you guys need to try this out if you haven't already. So. Here you have it. <sighs> Another one. Another one in the books. Nice. And uh, if you want to keep seeing more of these awesome videos and more of his sauce because we're going to keep doing them because he does it great. Um, hit the bell, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. If you've had this, let us know how much you love it. Um, and as always, keep it out, Nervy.